All right, I'm going to take this from vertex form into standard form just to show you a few things. But the real idea is we want to be able to go backwards from standard form into vertex form. So if I'm going to put this into standard form, I need to take care of these parentheses first, which means I'm doing x minus 4 times itself. Don't remember how that works. We've got our x times our x, our negative 4 times our x, another negative 4 times x, so that's negative 8 x's, and then negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. I end up with a perfect square trinomial, right? That's just this piece. We still have minus 9, and we still have this times 6. Distribute my times 6. And then combine my like terms. Okay, and that's what we're left with. Now, if I want to move backwards start with this and move to something like this you can kind of see what you would have to do is extract this six out and then kind of mess with our numbers so that we can get a perfect square here a couple examples just a crash course if you missed it in class four need to see it again. Starting point, deal with this, negative 3, we're going to divide it out, we're going to extract it, and ignore this part. Negative 3, x squared plus 10x, we're going to hold off on this minus 86, that's the first move. Divide out this negative 3. Second move, I want this to be a perfect square. So if I've got 10 x's here, in order to get them, I need to have an x plus 5 squared. x plus 5 times x plus 5, it's going to give me my x squared, and it's going to give me 5 x's twice give me my 10x. It's also going to give me a 25. So I need a 25 in this parentheses. Now, what I have right here, this term matches, this term matches, this one does not. I've got negative 3 25s, which is negative 75. I'm supposed to have negative 86, so I need to subtract 11 more. So make that true. Negative 75 minus 11 is negative 86. So finish out the process. Get a negative 3 here. We get a minus 11 there. That is vertex form of what's in red. Divide out the negative 2. That should be x squared. Divide out the negative 2. Complete the square. That leaves me with a plus 121 in this position. Negative 2 times 121 is negative 242. We want the answer to be negative 235, so we're going to need to add 7. To make the answer negative 235. It's vertex form.